it's going to be great fun to watch what Dion does with that company. And uh, I'm privileged to actually be able to be, uh, be the chairman over there. It's going to be great, great fun. All right, so now let me turn to tell you a little bit more about Hewlett Packard Enterprise. At Hewlett Packard Enterprise, we play in very attractive markets. Services, software, cloud, and infrastructure. And these trends are in our collective favor. The markets where we compete are growing at more than 4%, with some pockets of those markets growing double digits, even high double digits. And our joint customers, from small and medium-sized businesses to the largest global enterprises, are looking for key business outcomes. This is a big change. They are no longer looking for speeds and fees. They are looking to drive business outcomes, and it is being driven by the top of the company, the CEO, the CFO. And they're looking for business outcomes like agility and flexibility in delivering new capabilities faster to market. They're looking for growth and profitability. They're looking for improved customer experiences and improved employee experiences, as well as reduced cost. And Hewlett Packard Enterprise, along with all of you, will be incredibly well positioned to deliver these outcomes and much more. So for your part, you are uniquely positioned to reach customers of all sizes, to bring the best consulting, services, and products to help our joint customers solve their biggest IT challenges. And let me say more about how we're going to drive profitable growth for HP and for all of you. The industry evolution and customer challenges that I talked about earlier this afternoon create a shared opportunity for us to win in this new world. To engage the customer in a holistic, unified way, starting with their business outcomes and then building a solution for them with the full power of the value chain of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So our opportunity is to help customers build a bridge from where their IT is now to where they must have their IT in order to compete. And whether that be a business or government or an educational institution, the challenges are exactly the same. And that's why we're changing how we engage with customers through you through four transformation areas, which you can leverage to build services practices and capitalize on the shift to the new style of IT. And what this will enable you to do is transform the channel customer experience and bring the full power of your company and HP to that customer. So collectively, these transformation areas add up to a huge market of over a trillion dollars. Yes, that's trillion with a T. And they're growing pretty fast. They're growing at four to five percent. And I said with pockets even growing faster. So I want to talk briefly about each one of these. And our team will flesh them out even more during the super sessions at this conference. But make no mistake, we are pivoting here from selling products to selling solutions. And when you sell solutions, obviously there's a lot of product and software and services that come with it. But as we look at the market, and I talk to customers every single day, they want to know what the business outcome is that you can help them with. And most customers can actually articulate what they're trying to accomplish, but they have no idea about how to translate that into technology that will help them. And that's where you come in. So we're going to be talking about broadly about four transformation areas, and you are part of the accelerant that is going to make this real in the marketplace. So the first transformation area is to an on-demand IT infrastructure. The new style of business demands that companies create and deliver value instantly and continuously. They can't do this without an on-demand infrastructure. So what we need to do is transform applications and workloads from the old to the new. We need to help customers implement next generation infrastructure ecosystems for these applications and workloads to run in. And we also know our joint customers are likely under pressure to quickly evolve to the cloud. But it is not as simple as you well know as throwing everything up in a public cloud. Most of your customers need a cloud that works for their business, one that scales and works with their infrastructure. 
and chances are they'll choose to move some workloads to a public cloud, but keep some data and workloads on-premise. So public cloud gives you convenience, private cloud gives you control, but what our joint customers really need is a hybrid cloud which gives flexibility, openness, and interoperability. So this transformation takes advantage of our strengths across software, cloud, hardware, and services. And what we believe is that this will enable you to have a different conversation with your customers that expands your selling opportunity. And it will make you more relevant to your customers. And relevance is where the money is. If you are a trusted advisor to the C-suite at your companies about how they implement their business strategies through technology, then you win more business. And boy, there is a lot of business to win here. This addressable market is over $550 billion and growing like crazy. So that's the first transformation area, or solution sell. The second is protecting your digital assets. Security is now top of mind for everyone. Although some of the recent breaches that you read about in the newspaper would suggest that it is not top of mind enough. This transformation area builds on solutions that not only help customers prevent and respond to cyber threats, but also uses big data for security analysis, protect geographically diverse businesses, and achieve regulatory compliance. Every customer is focused on compliance and utilizing how do I use big data to solve my security problems. There is also a big storage opportunity in backup and recovery, which is critical for business continuity, which is part of protecting your digital assets. What I will tell you is there is money available at every company for security. Just at HP alone, we have tripled our spending on security over the last couple of years. Virtually every CEO I know about, this is their number one concern. It is a board level discussion and there is money to help protect the digital assets of every company, no matter how small. And we collectively should run to this opportunity. It is a $114 billion market growing fast. And with every additional breach that you read about almost every day across the globe, this is a real opportunity for us. The third transformation area is empowering a data-driven enterprise. Businesses are looking for solutions that will enable them to harness the business value and extract the meaning from all data types in real time, regardless of source or scale. So together with you, we offer the hardware, the software, and the services that allow customers to efficiently store and quickly convert massive amounts of information into insights resulting in better and faster decision making. A true data-driven enterprise is one that's able to use internal data and external sources of data tailored to making great marketing campaigns to support data-driven customer intelligence and gain insight from connected devices. Most CEOs, I will tell you, that I talk to think this whole area is how they use IT to grow their revenues. And every company is thinking through, how do I take this data and be a more aggressive growth company? So this is a big opportunity. In fact, it's about $160 billion market opportunity for us, collectively. And the fourth and final area that we're focused on is enabling the most productive workplace. This is all about boosting employee productivity and their experience. And a productive workplace is one that supports quick conversion of legacy processes and tools to mobile. It's one that has the flexibility to adapt to changes as the business scales up or scales down and supports a rich means of communication in any environment between all parties, customers, employees, and partners. And together, we can win in these areas by deploying next generation wireless networks, something that will get even stronger, as I said, with the acquisition of Aruba, supporting any device, anytime, without compromising security, enabling communications and collaboration tools, and supporting mobile app development. This is a very fast-growing opportunity with a big addressable market of over $270 billion. Let me tell you one more thing about enabling and empowering the workforce. 
I'm sure you have noticed, but the generational divide among workers is enormous. What the 50-somethings need is different than what the 40-somethings need, which is different than what the 30-somethings need, and frankly, it's different than what the 20-somethings demand. I don't know about you, I was just glad to have a job when I was in my 20s. This is not the case with this workforce. They are very demanding, and if you're going to attract people to your organization and your customers are going to attract talent, they've got to have a terrific workplace environment. Now, we also have a couple other areas that we're focused on to help you be more relevant to your customers. New HP consulting solutions provided through technology services will complement these new transformation areas. So this will help qualified HP Service One partners shift the dialogue with customers to focus on outcomes for the new style of business. We want you to use HP Consulting Solutions to supplement your own advise and transform capabilities. Maybe to help train your people. Maybe to help you build a services practice that can be an annuity with your customers. The second thing is what we've talked about is business model innovation. This is as much about business model innovation as it is technology innovation. And having the right investment strategy to support technology transformation is now more important than ever. Everyone wants to know what is the financial approach to buying technology. As I've mentioned a couple of times, some companies want to move CapEx to OpEx. Some want to move OpEx to CapEx. And that's why each of these transformation areas is going to be supported by flexible investment solutions and unique IT consumption models that enable you and your customers to embrace change, drive transformation, and accelerate the move to the new style of IT. My advice to you is when you're in a transformation conversation with some of your customers, you know who you want involved from the beginning? is the CFO. Because they're really interested in, this is all well and good, Mr. and Mrs. IT department, but how are we going to pay for this? How are we going to finance this? How are we going to move from CapEx to a consumption model? And this is a point of difference for us collectively utilizing HP Financial Services. So, these four transformation areas and services, they represent our view of where the market is headed and what our customers will need. It is an extraordinarily exciting opportunity, and I promise you, if we do it well together, it will shift the relationship that you have with your customers. You will be more relevant, and you will sell more product at higher margin. So that is the opportunity in front of us. And I hope you can tell how excited we are about this, because this may be the very first Global Partner Conference in history where we have not talked about specific point products, but we have talked about solutions and business outcomes that we can sell jointly. So I'm pretty excited about this. Now, let me pull back just a little bit. This past decade was about how technology transformed consumer experiences. My view is the next day, decade will be all about funda fundamental transformation of businesses and governments enabled by technology. And this is our sweet spot. And no other company is well, is, together with our partners, is better positioned to win in this environment. In creating Hewlett Packard Enterprise, we have the opportunity to create a new company, to create a new legacy for the next 75 years in an industry that is transforming the world at incredible speed. So, I'm sure you've got a lot of questions about how this is all going to work, and we intend to answer the, as many questions as we can over the next couple of days in keynotes, in roundtables, in one-on-ones, and more. But I hope my remarks have start, started the process, one that will clearly extend beyond this meeting because it is going to set the strategic agenda for Hewlett Packard Enterprise for the next three to four years. It is vitally important to us that we keep a strong two-way discussion going over the next seven months and beyond after we separate into two companies. We are committed to communicating with you on a regular basis, and your feedback will be essential to our collective process. One of the things that I am so pleased about over the last three and a half years is how many of you have been a counselor to me and a counselor to this company as we reinvent HP and as we become even more relevant in the IT technology industry. And we intend to hit the ground running when we launch these two new companies in November. 
And that means we need to have our partners running in step at speed with us. At the same time, we have to be just as aggressive in driving our FY15 results. So we want to accelerate growth now in calendar 2015 and after the separation. The more momentum we build, the more successful we will be together. But I want to tell you, I have never been more 